Our Zach Dahlheimer on the ground tonight, working to learn more about the moments leading up to this crash. Zach. Yeah, Angela, all of US-1 is back open tonight here in Cary. Let me give you a better picture. You can see right behind me. This is what it's looked like here and near the entrance onto US-1 off of Highway 64. Since about 930 tonight, traffic moving freely along the highway. That's different than what it looked like earlier tonight with traffic backed up for hours. Now, let me show you what it looked like here at the scene. You could see the damage to the two cars involved. Cary police tell us just after 5 o'clock, a black Volkswagen traffic traveling southbound on US-1, lost control and hit a red Volkswagen. Now, both vehicles ended up in the guardrail and both drivers were taken to a nearby hospital. One of them suffered serious injuries. Now, officers also told us they believe a Wake County Sheriff's deputy was trying to pull the black Volkswagen over. Police told us a number of officers, Wake County Sheriff's deputies and State Highway Patrol troopers responded to this crash and there was a lot of traffic around here earlier tonight. Now, we don't know exactly why the Wake County Sheriff's deputy pulled was trying to pull the car over. We've been trying to reach out to the Wake County Sheriff's Office. We've reached out to them multiple times tonight and are still waiting to hear back. Well, meanwhile, Cary Police say a wood chip truck was also involved in the crash, suffering minor damage. Now, that's the latest what we know so far regarding this crash. But of course, we'll keep you posted if we hear of any updates, both on air and online. Live in Cary, Zach Dahlheimer, CBS 17 News.